What's going on? Tectonic Edge here playing some more Mono Green Tron. I am back to a Genie Tron variant, so we've got Congregate Creator. Not going to be a keepable hand here. We do have two lands, but no, not two Tron lands, so we'll mulligan. Going to run, running a few more Thrag Tusk in this build. We're going to see how that goes. Keep mulliganing. We have a Tower and a Blast Zone. Nope, we'll go to four, and hopefully Tron. Not Tron, but I'm not going to go any lower on this one. Um, so we're going to put these threats to the bottom and keep the lands in the way to find Leatherlands. And first look at what our opponent is doing there on the play. Uh, we're in a rough spot game one. Bloodstained Mire. All right, possibly a uh, Death Shadow build, possibly a Prowess build, possibly a Burn build. Um, no turn one play, so that leans me a little towards Death Shadow. No turning P land will let us Sylvan scrying in the future, so that is nice. Uh, we'll start off with a Power Plant Expedition map. Hope we can top deck a Tower or a Urza's Mine. And pass turn, see what our opponent has. Didn't get Thought Seized, which is nice, so we do at least have the potential to get to Tron here. Overgrown. Oh, oh, this could be a Jun build, too. Uh, that'd be nice. Tomagoyf. Cavern of Souls. Okay, definitely going to be a creature-based deck. Type is Demon. Is this a combo deck? Gather the pack. All right. Oh, it is definitely a combo. Primal Dawn. Yep. Okay, I know. So this deck, um, what they're focusing on is they're going to play a card uh, that's going to give them pretty much all those abilities. Yep. Uh, Grim Flayer. This is Grim Flayer combo. Interesting first round of a league. Well, life doesn't matter too much in the combo match. Yeah. Both self and scrying. I think they're more likely to have hand destruction than they are to have artifact destruction here. Did not draw the Tron land. We have the Ancient Stirrings, though, which should hopefully let us get something for next turn. Yep. There's the Soul Flayer. Double Strike Flying, Trample, Vigilance, Indestructible. Oh. All right. Well, that does answer that pretty well. Because sacrifice has nothing to do. Um, do we live an attack? Yeah, we'll live one attack here. That's a good find. If they have a pump spell, maybe not. But that's the risk we got to take because we really don't have anything else we can do.
So if we get Tron, we get the Owl's Dust, that should buy us time, provided uh, they got a red source, okay. Alright, well, that's going to be a little painful. Uh, they're going to definitely take the Owl's Dust. Yep. We still have the Ancient Stirrings to find something. And we take eight here. Might as well crack the expedition map. So, grab the tower. I am glad I used the Sylvan Scrying early, because um, they could have taken that if we had gone for the expedition map. And then we would have been down to top decks. We at least have some options here. All right. Not the option we were looking for, but not bad. Oof. We can guarantee the Kozilek but we'll be dead before it matters. Okay, and now, yeah. Eight mana. Well, if we draw a Tron land, assuming we have a way to live this next turn, we're in a decent spot. Of course, the little mug would be on the top, but we had no way of knowing that. Otherwise, the land would have been the grab. Uh, there's a good chance we're just dead this turn, though, I think. Yep, death touch haste. That will indeed be game. We'll go to game two. Um, that was a well-timed. I think had they not had the collective brutality that turn, we would have been in a much better spot. Dismembers are definitely coming in. Maybe go down. Couple Thrag Tusk. Everything else is better off than the wish board. I do have Weather the Storm in this build, but hey, it's, this is not the matchup to bring it in. Alright, that does not get us to Tron, but it does have... Ooh, yeah. Ah, dismember. I know I shouldn't, but I'm going to give it a try. We'll see what this does. I really like the Chromatic Star in hand. If we can find another Tron land, we've got turn three Tron. We're holding up a dismember. Let's see what this can do. It's just at having interaction. I'm a fan of that. Now, they have definitely brought in any interaction if they have it from the sideboard. But they may not have just because Tron's typically a good matchup for any combo deck. Granted, they still rely on a creature, so I could be wrong there. If we can get rid of that creature, and we're probably one of the few decks that... Well, no, Path to Exile. Eh, it, wait, does it get hexproof? Oof, that's rough. Um, we have double search options, though, which is nice. I think they're going to take the dismember here. Or they're going for the Sylvan Scrying. Okay, they're just going to try and get us off Tron. Crack for green. Can we draw a Tron land? Nope. Alright, we'll go for the Ancient Stirrings. Well, 
that's unfortunate. Not finding one in the top five is going to be rough. I went for the Ancient Stirrings first because uh, the Sylvan Scrying could get any Tron land we wanted. And it's another Thoughtseize. Um, same play, I think. They're going to take the Sylvan Scrying. They could go for the... Yep. That's rough. draw hopefully get a land did not but we get another redraw all right wish i had that sylvan scrying but oh well um we do get to play the concrete creator next turn which will be nice don't have the cards they need in the graveyard yet. Oh, that can regenerate. Regenerate is rough. But I don't believe it gets around this, and I'd rather them not have a creature when we play, because minus five, minus five is still, yep. Although they may have been bluffing to get rid of that, we'll find out. do we want I'm tempted to go for the liquid metal coating or the ensnaring bridge I think I go for the ensnaring bridge here uh, because they could have a way to get rid of Karn still and we're just looking to shut them down till we get drawn All right, there's a way to get some cards in the graveyard. Okay, they are running Abrupt Decay. That's... Mm, not happy to see that. Oh, but I am happy to see that. Mountain Swamp. What do we want? Yeah, Grafdigger's Cage doesn't really do anything in this matchup. Uh, maybe the Sundering Titan to get rid of two lands, but I think we'd do better to misclick the Grafdigger's Cage. All right, yep, that was definitely a misclick, not what I wanted.
Uh, what I was really going to go for there would have been the Trinisphere, but misclicks did not help me. Worm Coil is going to be good, though. Clothus. All right. Expedition map is nice. So we'll grab a Sanctum. Um, nothing we can really do here. We'll plus with no targets. I don't really feel the need to swing as of yet. We'll see what they let us do with the Congregate Creator next turn. Of course, that is another chance for them to draw something. Yep. Uh, we're going to deal some damage to Karn. Likely to Karn. Or not. Well, let me read this again. To each opponent, never mind. Alright, a second troll. We're really not worried about those trolls. For the Kozilek. Sacrifice Sanctum. Grab an Ulamog. Land the Kozilek. Play a forest because I don't really want to run anything else out or run the expedition map out. They could target the tower. Um, which it was something and we'll go ahead and swing six with the worm coil engine here and start gaining some life they're gonna regenerate the troll that's fine we just wanted the life gain They, if they don't answer the Kozilek, like they're about to have a bad turn. Yep, all right. We never get the swing with Kozilek. Like. If they can't block it, they typically scoop. Game three, do we do anything else with the knowledge that they are not only running the Grim Flyer combo or Soul Flyer combo, Grimflayer, I think, was the name of the deck, combining it with something else, but I know the trolls are interesting. We may want the Thrag Tusk. I um, don't really know what I would pull out. We have a lot of good cards in this matchup.
I like the worm coil over the Thrag Tusk because it's still... It ha has better up text yeah, if it gets destroyed. Crossing our fingers here, we need some Tron lands. Because yeah, the downside to Tron is if you don't get your lands, you don't do much. We got a tower. Uh, I'm not going to be able to keep that though. We're going to mulligan. Hmm. All right. Ordinarily, I would say bad hand. But. Thoughtseize is in the deck, which means they'll probably take it in Ancient Stirring, so I'm actually going to keep this. I really like the All Is Dust as a threat. I really like the Dismember. We'll put the All Is Dust, because I think the Dismember covers this better. And this at least has a chance at turn three. Yep, Thoughtseize. Probably the dismember because uh, well they could take an ancient stirrings. Oh, they uh, they mulligan uh, to six. Uh, all right, not the worst. We're not guaranteed Tron with this. Okay, so if they're playing it like that, let's see what we top deck. Tower's pretty nice. I'm going to start off with this. I know it's slowing us down, but I'd rather get the Ancient Stirrings off and guarantee, yep, there's Tron, than risk getting hit with another Thought Seize and then not being able to do anything. So we have turn four Tron. We're digging for something to do with it. That's a pretty good find. Gonna hold up Dismember. The Little Troll does actually work pretty well here because they can discard some of their bigger threats uh, to get them in the graveyard. Yep, take two damage. Ooh, that's a very nice find. We well, will run out the chromatic. All right, very nice that they got rid of an abrupt decay for us. Thought sees. All right. Well, we have Tron. We'll get rid of those. And 
we should have enough uh, cards left in the hand to start winning from here. Uh, if they play something down this turn, we go for the con to get rid of it. If they don't, we'll go for the worm coil and hold up this member. Yeah, we could have gone for the Sylvan Scrying there, but I'd rather hold that in reserve as well. Uh, from here, I think we're in a good spot. We deal nine next turn. Oh, they could have an answer to Warm Coil, it looks like. Ancient Grudge, and they're going to flash it back to likely get rid of the Lifelink token. Yep. So they really don't want us gaining life. Do they have an answer for the Ugin? All right, we'll deal three here. Play the Karn. I think I'm more worried about their red source, so we'll take away their red source. And swing three. All right, they need an answer to Ugin and the creature if they're going to, or well, no, one or the other. Um, Okay, they don't have it. So, all right. There is Tron versus the Soul Flyer combo. Uh, let's take a look. We've got a Chromatic. We would have probably Ancient Stirrings here and not really found much. Uh, but yeah, I think Ugin and the Worm would have locked it down. Thank you for watching. If you made it all the way to the end and are still watching, uh, consider leaving a like or subscribing to the channel for more content. This is Tectonic Edge, signing out.